This video is over price elasticity of demand, the most common type of elasticity you'll see in economics. The official formula for price elasticity of demand is percent change in quantity demanded divided by percent change in price. But this video is not going to be dealing with the formula or the math behind it. It's just going to be looking at the concept and trying to understand what it means. Elasticity basically deals with how much your demand changes when your price changes. Basically, are you price sensitive? Do you care about the price a whole lot? So let's start by just looking at a couple examples. Let me ask you this. If your favorite singer, musician person was coming to town and putting on a concert for one night, how much would you care about the price? If the price ended up being 10% more than you thought it was, would you still go? Well, yeah, it's your one chance to see that, you know, music person doing their music in action. So you're going to go and you're probably still going to buy that ticket. That means you didn't care about the price very much, and we call that being inelastic. If you've got a concert ticket, that's a once-in-a-lifetime thing, You'll even if they raise the price, people will still be buying plenty of it. A few people won't buy, but most of them will still buy it. On the other hand, what about after the concert, you go to McDonald's, and it turns out the Big Mac costs more than you thought it would. Well, Big Mac you don't care about as much, so you'll, you might just get the chicken instead. You might care more about that. Even if the price just goes up a little bit, you might just stop buying it buy something else entirely and that makes it more elastic. Not everyone's going to go and just stop buying Big Macs, but some people are. More people would stop buying Big Macs than would stop buying concert tickets. And that makes them more elastic. And that's all that elasticity means. How much do you care about the price? So what about college? If the price of tuition goes up, is that going to matter a little bit or a whole lot? Well, college is a big long-term investment and most people they're going to keep going. Even if the college tuition goes up, they'll still keep buying as much as, about as much as they were. More people than not will keep buying it. And then what about books? Books are basically just entertainment. You don't really need them. So they are going to be more elastic. So that means you care about more about the price. When books are on sale, I'm going to go out and buy a whole lot more of them. If books get more expensive, I'll just start buying movies or something else instead. The price really, really matters for books, so they are more elastic. And that's pretty much all that elasticity is there. You just want to know if how much the price matters. Now, there are two special kinds of elasticity. You could be perfectly inelastic, or you could be perfectly elastic. Perfectly inelastic is when you don't care about the price at all. A good example of that might be heart medicine. If you don't get it, you'll die. So when the price goes up, you will still get it. No matter what the price is, there's still the same amount of people trying to get the same amount of heart medicine. And that's perfectly inelastic. When the price doesn't matter at all, you still get the same exact quantity demanded. Perfectly elastic, on the other hand, is when a one cent change in price will get rid of all your quantity demanded. A good example of this is if you're on a street and you've got two different gas stations right across from each other. What happens if this guy is charging $3.58 a gallon and this guy is charging $3.59? Well, everybody is going to go there. Every single person would rather get gas for $3.58 than $3.59. On the other hand, if they go up to $3.59 or $3.60, they will lose all, pretty much all of their business right there. And that is perfect elasticity when just the change of a cent or two is going to completely change the quantity demanded from nothing to something or from something to nothing. And most things, they're somewhere in the middle. They might be a little bit more elastic or a little bit more inelastic, but most things are in the middle between perfectly elastic and perfectly inelastic. But that's all that elasticity is. How much does the quantity demand depend on the price change? How price sensitive is your product? Retutors math dot org